What is going on, dudes? My name is of the team, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm in a random location right now. I don't exactly know where I am. Oh no, I am where we ended. Okay, never mind. Uh, in the last episode, we took on the fire. Excuse me, the dark. I forgot the name of the type for a second there. The dark type uh, team star leader, and then we went and took on the flying titan because we had enough time. So now we have surf, which is pretty cool. I went to, and used that to catch some some Pokemon. So I, I am like 120 or something like that. 222. In this episode, we're going to, I guess, look and see what else we can do. Because we're almost on par for the, the Titan that would get us climb, which could be good. Uh, because, you know, that would allow us, that would give us a, a bunch more movement options. And uh, this won't really matter. I'm going to mention this right now in case we do get a shiny. I'm hoping we do. Because I'm wearing, I'm wearing Kansas City uh, Pioneers merch. It's a little bit different than the shirt I wore that other time when I got the Swank. But hopefully uh, it will <laughs> work out because that'd be very cool. Anyways, so we can either go down to the Psychic Gym here. Uh, we can go over toward, or we can go north. So it's either we go south or we go north. Because where are all the badges that we have to do? Yeah, we have southwest and northeast, and that's really it. I guess north in general, because we did a lot of the east part. But, yeah, so let's go to the Psychic Gym then. Why not? I mean, last episode we did do Titan and Base, so we should round it out by going toward... Why did my... I don't know why my... My little thing turned around. I guess we get, while we're on our way, we can see whatever this outbreak is. I don't necessarily mind, uh, but there's like a there's like a way easier way to fucking do the outbreaks that I have not been doing. I've just been knocking them all out because that's what you would do in Legends Arceus. But there's a better way to do it. Once you counted that you've knocked out 60, uh, then you just set up a, a picnic repeatedly until you get you get one. So depending on the Pokemon, we'll see if I do it or not. I do it off screen, honestly. I I, I can't imagine that I do it on screen, but. Uh, I brought along the full main team right now. This is what the, t the main team has be evolved into. I don't know if this or the psychic gym would rank would rate on like compared to everything else. Oh, okay. So clearly, it's like the second gym. <laughs> it's no. It's just funny how I'm saving the fucking bug gym, the weakest gym for last. I just I love that. Damn it, Nicket! I was trying to challenge the trainer. I called you a Nicket. I keep calling this thing Nicket. Ooh, Snarl. So there's actually like a really good set. I'm not going to be using a Claire for the main team. As much as I love her. Mainly because I need... I'm basically going to be stuffing a... Stuffing. Yeah, that's not the best word to use. I'm going to be... Uh, feeding her sh like all of my XP candy. Try to get her to level 100. The goal is to make her my... Uh, uh, my Charizard counter. So whenever we go to, whenever I go fight one of the seven-star Charizards, uh, basically, that will be what I do. I'll be bringing that because it has the its ability, which like makes it immune to fire moves, and it's got it'll hold the AV, and it'll be good against Dragon because it's a fairy, and you know all that good shit. It's kind of funny. Killer Watch is so damn big it doesn't fit on the screen. See what's all in here. I ended up finding a, a female Salandit, so I no longer need a Salandit. It's great. Okay. You know, I went way out of my way to go find a wild toxicity, and there's just one here. Well, I guess we're gonna fight it now. It's so weird how their the models pixelate so much immediately. No, well, not pixelate. They polygonize, so they make it easier to load as they're farther away. Is this water? Okay. It's a very thin sheen of water, and if you look at the water pattern, it's running uphill. Sure. Come on, fucking jump! Sometimes the high jump just literally does not work. Your future is hazy. Okay. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Let me see if we make it out of this cave. Well, that's a little bit threatening, especially <laughs> coming from a guy who looks like that. <laughs> I can't touch why it why it's 
I really, like, it was almost, I just randomly caught the Watchroll and then really liked Kill a Watchroll. And I'm glad we're sticking with him. Let's learn Volt Switch. Ooh, that's a good move. Do I teach it to him? I mean, for right now, I don't need it. I mean, obviously, for, like, competitive, that's, like, necessary on this Pokemon. A special Terra Pokemon up here. What is it, I wonder? It's a Houndoom. What? Look at Houndoom's animation. It doesn't bend its knees. What type is it? Ghost. Oh, okay. Hey, we caught it. Very good. I don't have to worry about evolving a Houndour now. Let's go. Parkour, parkour. Do I see you riding on a Pokemon? Uh, yes. You see me riding on a Pokemon. I should send in my artifacts. Try to get that thing to evolve. I have no idea what level it evolves. And then it evolves into 35 into, uh, it's... Middle evolution? I don't know what evolves, how, when it evolves into its final evolution. Do, 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 do. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate myself. It's like, it's absolutely going to happen because that's my luck in this fucking game. I've broken through confusion once this entire playthrough. And I mean that literally. <gasps> this would prevent me from having to do all the training. You beautiful creature. Damn it. So I don't have quick balls still. I'm not allowed to buy them. Because I don't have six badges. Which is fucking stupid by the way. That you have to have six badges. So you can notice that there's no sound when it comes to a critical capture in this generation, but you notice it when your character throws the ball, depending on the how much of the arc is traced before the before the character throws it. Like if they just throw it straight and it, like you see the the trail as soon as it leaves its hand, their hand at the beginning, uh, it's a normal throw. But if the arc starts from behind them, then it's a actually a then it's a crit capture. I know I've noticed that after catching Pokemon off screen after a while. Because there is no uh, audio indication, which is really stupid. Like, thinking about it, th they made the audio help in this game so much worse. It's, it is kind of good, though, that our pseudo is the Pokemon that is the traded one, so it gets that extra XP. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm kind of just in, in this cave. I think that the outbreak is on top of a rock, too. I swear to myself, I make it a town without writing in a Pokemon. Alright, I don't know why, but... Ator, is that what your name was? Indeed. I love how Luxray still has this Legends Arceus animation where he's crouching down like a... Like the lion tiger he is. Nope, they're here! What the fuck are these? Okay, what type are you? I don't know. Huh. Alright. Well, it says not very effective. Like, that. Electric is effective. I don't know what type. I guess, you know what? I'm gonna have to catch the damn thing. Okay, we did. What type is it? Rock poison. Okay, it absorbs the nutrients from cave walls. The petals of wares are made are, are, are made of crystallized poison. Interesting. I don't think I need the XP anymore. I kind of want to keep... Wait, why does it say we're on top of the town? No, we must be beneath the town. What? Well, there's more than one Umbreon. I thought an Umbreon would be like a strong spawn, but there is several Umbreons. Oh, I forgot I had held up here. This person's actually talking about Pokemon types, and it's like, well, Big Hammer. 
Goodbye. Oh wait, no, it's still a pure psychic type. That's okay. Now this would have been the perfect time to have the hammer, but no. I'm gonna have to brutal swing it in the face because I, I can't. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it, just big old squat, the squash with the big hammer. How does today's weather look? Well, when I l came in here, it was normal. I'll tell you why I'm so worried about the weather. Oh, because you're a weather trainer. Aha. Okay, I think we're now leaving. Finally. Okay, on to the psychic gym. South Province, Area 6. Ooh, Baynet. Why'd the music stop? I'm so confused. Why did the music... That It was some interesting new music. <gasps> Sylveon! I'm definitely catching you, so I do not have to worry about having to try to evolve you. Whatever the new thing is required. What is happening? I mean, at that point, I might as well have ran into the damn thing. But, like, what the fuck, bro? Seven trainers, damn it. Is there even a... Where are the other trainers? I defeated, like, all the trainers in the cave. Oh, there's this dude here. I didn't even see him. I ran away from him immediately. Alright, so we're here in Alfonada. Okay. I didn't expect the music to be, like... This. But I like it. It's different. It's absolutely the most different song out of all of them so far. A light clay. Ooh, yeah, no, that makes sense we find it here. It's a very good item. I like the aesthetic of this place here, too. And you have these mosaic things of the old Gen 1 logos. Can't Gen 1 nostalgia bait me. I'm the anti-Gen 1-er. This makes me think of the cold, of cold storage. Like, in, in Unova. I don't know. Uh, this is the... It's like the... Delivered presence. All for not such an inconvenient location. Yeah. You aren't wrong. Imagine having to trek to that freaking cavern every, da every damn time you want to. I suppose when you have climb, you can probably scale all the mountains. Oh, and there's the gym. Alright, we're probably gonna... I'm, I'm going to try to do the gym in this episode. It's gonna be the goal. Because I imagine I can cut out a lot of the exploring time. And it's a, I always like having one thing to do each episode. Which, granted, I did do two in the last because they were easier enough, easy enough to get to. So let's do it! Probably no shinies in this episode, which is unfortunate, but that's alright. Let's go in! I actually don't have the best Pokemon out front, but it's fine. We'll roll with it. Hey, Olivia! Great. I saw you go in the gym and came running! Listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't battle you last time we ran into each other. Wait, don't get me wrong, I didn't chase you down just, just to battle you. Then again, I guess I wouldn't mind a battle or anything if you wanted to. What do you say? Why not? At this point. Yes! Battle time! You and me, Olivia! Wait, hold on. I want to be sure to pick the right Pokemon for where you're at in your journey. Sorry, give me a sec to find to my team, then we can battle. In fact, while you're waiting, go ahead and take out the gym. Okay. I was hoping we'd do it after, or we'd do it before, but whatever then. I guess my cartel with assurance can work. Do I have any better, like, dark type, uh, dark type TMs? Because obviously I have, you know, I actually have decent Pokemon I could use aside from that, even though they're not part of the main team, but my goal is to not do that. Wait, why can, I forgot the name of the, po the, the species, why can Bosco learn Chilling Water? Alright, let's give it a shot. Welcome to the Alfernada Gym. Let me register you as a challenge. Your name is Olivia, yes? That's great. Now in order to face that gym leader Tulip, you first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Alfernada Gym, that means working up a sweat's a special kind of exercise. I'm talking about the emotional spectrum practice, created by Tulip herself, of course. Complete it, you pass the test. The woman wearing the black tracksuit in the practice area will explain the rules. Just turn left after leaving the gym and you'll find a practice area right next door. Now get out there and have fun! Oh, you aren't just some default character, too. What the hell? 
Not the meta jam, the person I'm looking at, bro. Oh, Sue, welcome, new kid. This is where we do emotional spectrum practice. Her name is Dendra. Why is your battle studies teacher here at your Pokemon gym working as an instructor, you ask? That's why. She's a teacher. Well, I've been friends with the gym leader Tulip here since we were kids. I've decided to have a Pokemon battle with a special rule. The loser has to do what the winner says. So we battled, and well... Look, never mind what happened. Point is, this is a chance to get a workout in and tell my friend why I don't have classes. The rules of Exponential Spectrum Practice, or ESP for short, are simple. I'll show you a certain movement and all you have to do is copy it. Ready to get the gym test started? Hope your body and mind are ready for the challenge. Alright. Great, let's get to exercising. Show me an eruption of emotions. Oh my god, the lag here. What does this mean, though? How do- what the fuck is it? Is it like a DDR shit or whatever? Why is the model for the Metacham look so bad when it's the front and center thing in the camera? <laughs> okay. The music is fucking incredible, though. I hit the wrong button. I'm only, I'm only looking at the color. <laughs> Interesting. The music, though, is fucking groovy. That was awesome! I can't stop grinning after witnessing such perfect power of expression! That's enough warm-up. Now let's really put those muscles to work with a Pokemon battle! Well, we're not battling. Or, we're not working out when we battle. It's our Pokemon that are doing anything. Gym Trainer Emily, it's a child. Why does she have children employed? Why are they so close to the battle? You're gonna get hit. They're like directly in the way too. I don't know if that's a glitch and they're supposed to despawn or what. Oh my god. I was actually surprised that the guy at the Pokemon Center who gives you the reward for defeating all the trainers gave me Flare Blitz instead of Psychic, despite me being right outside the Psychic Town. Anyway, there was a random Pokeball just stuck in the wall there for a second. I don't know if you saw that, but... Why is... what w The light is coming out of her head. Move by how well you, and you, you move, both you and your Pokemon. What the fuck? The light's literally coming from her head. This, this is so many glitches right now. Great! I can hear your Pokemon and your muscles screaming with delight! I see you're getting tired, but you gotta hang in there time to start the second half! I took like 13 damage and used like 4 power points. Oh my god, we gotta do this again? It's DDR. Ah. Uh, for some reason, I keep wanting to hit A for the blue one. I don't know why. I think if they had them equipped to the the positions of like the Xbox colors, I'd, I'd be a lot more better at this. Because <laughs> uh, I, I keep actually having to look at the buttons. I love I love the giraffe rig doing the poses with us. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just spamming the button, I don't know, man. <laughs> what does he even did anything? It's really difficult to fail to give you so much time. That was perfect! I almost lost track of who was teaching who! Don't give up yet, it's time for another battle! Hold out against all that lactic acid! Grow stronger, build muscle. Well, just keep doing it, bro. Oh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I just gave Magoto Nasty Plot, but I can't use it because I have the Assault Vest. Oh well. I wish I had fi Psychic though. That'd be great. Teacher Psychic. Good job, you made it all the way through the ESP exercise. You passed this test, no doubt about it. Congratulations! But you're not done yet. Spin over the lobby staffer on the double. You had to support your passing grade to formally finish the test. 
Cool. I guess this is where we're gonna be fighting the gym leader. I actually just randomly came up here because I was going to the Pokemon Center and... Yeah, that's probably what this... Oh god, there was... Well... I'll go get that. Alright, now that we're done and we're like level 46 is, I don't know what level she's gonna be, but I imagine that we're right on par now. Or actually even, maybe, probably even over leveled. I see you completed the ESP exercise, Olivia. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck! I'm really hoping this shit in the background get, is getting picked up. I, I'm, I'm just gonna mention it in case there is a little bit of a background noise, and if so, I apologize. I really challenge gym leader to the bewitching beautician. Sure. Very well, allow me to show you the bell court. Cool. So is he right? Okay, I'll get things moving in uh, here on my end. Let's keep this tagline simple, naturally beautiful. And order the new eyeshadow color too, would you? Thanks, your dog. Gotta run. Chat with you later. Hello there. I'm Tulip, the gym leader here, but I must tell you that being a makeup artist is my main line of work. And read nothing but praise for you. She said you totally slayed out there. <laughs> I must say, you're a cute challenger, Olivia. I'm pretty sure my ESP exercise made you all the more beautiful. Doesn't that make you happy? Keep your Pokemon beautiful and clean as well. I see you have quite the aesthetic sense. Appearance is equally important for pe both people and Pokemon. Makeup is like magic. Anyone can use it to change their appearance. Let me put my skills to make your cute little Pokemon even more beautiful. Okay. You have your own for a giraffe. Okay. <coughs> You're quite a good base to test my makeup magic on. What shall I use on you? Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. What? You're fucking two levels lower than me. Why do you have crunch? That's some horse shit. And you get the defense drop, dude. Like, the RNG seed is absolutely totally against me every single fucking time in, in, in this Pokemon game. Like, obviously the RNG seed, <clears throat> I mean, they supposedly fixed it. But it's always bad against me. Like, I have zero luck with confusion. Everybody gets secondary effects on me. It's so frustrating. Okay, Reflect is already gone. That's good. Uh, let's go into uh, Hilda. Let's just drop a hammer on this thing. I accidentally inhaled a little bit of my drink. Uh, well, on, on, on accident. I don't know what was happening. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's made my throat like and throat and chest be like very tight. Drop a hammer on this bitch. Next up is an Espathra. Okay, yeah, we're gonna make this simple. We're just gonna go into Bosco. I mean, Espathra kind of fits her perfectly. I'm gonna be honest, but Espathra is gone. It also actually like uh very much fits the aesthetic of the town. Next up is a Flawgis. Okay, a fairy type you're gonna make psychic. I guess that makes sense. I go into Hilda just because I resist both of those with her. I just drop a hammer on this bitch. He was just hard to get rid of his caked on mascara, I see. I need a good makeup remover. I suppose I can fake out first, why the hell not? Come here, my little floor, it's just time for a makeover. You'll become a new you. Hmm. 
Why am I terrestrializing? Because fuck it. I should probably save it for Nimona. Because this isn't actually going to help me against the forges <laughs> at all. It's actually going to make it- I lose my steel typing. So that was actually the wrong play. <laughs> but I just wanted to do it. I haven't done it in so long. Well, I did it, I guess, last episode, technically. I forgot about that. Alright, we're gonna still... I made it harder than it needed to be, but you know what? That's probably a good thing. Hill is just still too good. Nice. Skitter Smack. What the fuck does that do? It's a bug type move. Use your skitters behind the target. This also lowers the target's special attack stat. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh, give it a seed bomb. Flower Tricks is better. <laughs> Yo, that's so cool. Oh, God, they gave... They gave... Uh... Masquerade... Mascaragato? What the fuck was it called? Mascaragato is an actual thing, but that's not what I was looking for. Meowscarada, that's what it was. God damn, I could not remember at all. His strength is magic too that cannot be washed away. Cool. I lost the battle, and your beauty rivals even my own? I can't believe it. You were quite splendid, yes, truly amazing. Perhaps I should take you under my wing before I make you make a big, big break elsewhere. I suppose I need to work on myself a little more first before I run off and do such a thing. You're in my gym badge. Allow me to strike one of my best poses to give it to you. Congratulations, Olivia. Nice. <clears throat> With five gym badges, Pokemon up to level 35, 45 will be easier to catch and listen to the commands you give them. If you train hard, you'll be able to use this move in a totally perfect way. We got Psychic. That makes sense now why we got Psychic from her, but I mean they're repeatable, so whatever. Not uploading that stuff we just took to social media, okay? I'll sue you. The thing my makeup is run a little with all the moving and sweating I did during our battle. I need to fix that fast for my next appointment. My schedule is absolutely packed, you know. Farewell then, you did splendidly today. And those people are over at the battlefield are still still cheering, even though nobody's battling no more. Another gym leader defeated. Well done. Recan for me there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. Seems she meant you. I guess as much. I don't remember if that was her voice, but you know what, that's her voice now. I had the pleasure of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed. You managed to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank. I'll be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League and... Hey, 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 Olivia, I got my team all picked out! And I see you battling, Jim Leader, you just keep getting better! How good to see you again, Jim Minamona. Certainly, it's been a while. Whoa! Wait, La Primera? With Olivia? Oh, uh, why do you call her that? Wait, did I forget to give you the full explanation? I've been calling Mosquita La Primera because she's just that. She's the real number one, even higher than us regular champions. She's the top champion! Oh, okay. I do indeed hold that claim. Alongside my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. I thought you were too busy to spend your time checking in on gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I've come to scout some rather promising young talent. Whoa! Look, wait for one second, you're famous, Olivia? But hey, I found Olivia first! You may be a Pimera, but you can't go staring here for me. Stealing. <laughs> Supposed to have to get in line. That's right, come on, Olivia, time for a battle. Let's go, quick, let's go, the battlefield's calling! One moment, please. Huh, what is it? I would very much like to observe this match, if that's alright. Oh, <laughs> totally fine by me. Sounds fun, right, Olivia? Sure. Thank you, er, thank you kindly. I'm already excited to see you two face off. 
Hopefully you heal me. Let's be on our or let's be on our way then. I keep swapping the voices because I'm not looking at the names. Remember how it all works? You remember how it all works, right? Once you get badges from all the gyms, you get to throw them against the strongest Pokemon trainers around. Yes, you must face the Pokemon League. It's located in the northwest of Mesa Goza. The Pokemon League is where trainers are reborn as champions, the greatest honor they might dream of. Clicking any badges says you have to check the take the champion assessment. If you can face the challenge of the final examiner and win, you'll become the champion. Just imagine how that moment would feel. Try getting into that champion mindset. Now set your sights on reaching that big important stage and let's battle! Excuse me one moment. These Pokemon may be still a little fatigued. Yes. I appreciate that. Sorry, got caught up in my battle hunger. We should be in all great shape now thanks to La Primera. Okay, Livy, time to put our game faces back on! Let's have another fruitful battle! Alright, Nemo, let's do this. Like and rock. I know La Primera, La Primera is watching, but no need to get worked up. Just stay cool. I don't know if you're talking to me or yourself, because I don't give a shit. Ow! Don't flinch me. How much does my side beam do? Over half. Alright, I'll just... We're just gonna go it again. No flinch? No flinch, Makoto. No flinch. Thank you. Goodbye, like and rock. Very good. Next up's a Gumi. Okay. Uh, I can. Uh, it doesn't matter what I switch into at this point. Fucking going to Grant. Whatever. Grant. I haven't battled with Grant in a little while. He did have a, some spotlight in the and one a random trainer battle earlier this episode, but that's about it. I can try out how you slam too, because Gumi's late. <laughs> Gumi got squashed. Next up is a Pomo. Wait. No, I was going to say, we get to see it. She hasn't evolved hers either. I don't feel so bad anymore. I mean, granted, hers is level 36 and mine is... 46? <laughs> and, like, the majority of its past 20 levels have been due to me just sending it out to battle. Oh, I forgot it's a fighting type. <laughs> I'm rock sliding and it's like, why is it ever effective? Quaqua Ball. What the fuck is that? I think I know what it is. But I'm going to Bosco. Because if it is her starter. <laughs> wow, you seen this pre meta? I'm getting backed right into a corner. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I like it. It's better than the other two. Time to terrestrialize. Watch, I'm gonna make La Primera's eyes light up. Well, I wonder if I can. I don't know if I could. I, mean, I think it showed me I could terrestrialize earlier, but I just didn't. I'm not a big fan of the dancing movements, but I do like the Pokemon's design. It's animation is totally slowed down. Did you see that? Before the move even hit it? Man, it was gonna kill. Oof, that was a good one. Your move had some zing to it. Yeah, it's the best actual <laughs> starter one. Whoa, crit right when it counts. Looks on your side for sure. Well, flower trick always crits. That's the difference. Anyway, I do like Quaquabble. It's not too it's not too bad. People are going to start paying more, more and more attention to you. I just know it. <clears throat> An amazing display of talent, even one against sk one as skilled as champion Nimona. It was a splendid match. I enjoyed watching that very much. Maybe not be meta thinks he wanted to watch. You've got so much potential. The way you're going, I better watch my back. You know, since the first time we met, I've been really sure of one thing. 
You're going to become a champion, no doubt about it. The rest of these gems, you can take them 100%, no problem. I agree. In fact, you should take this. Consider it an investment in your future. Terror Blast. Ooh. Sorry for the little dog outside. I don't know if it's even getting picked up, but yeah, this is a, it's a move. I think it become physical or special, whichever is better for the user. It says it right there, actually. Um, and you can use it, and it becomes your terror type. It's like multi attack. So it's a very cool thing. It's a it's a good move to give to Pokemon whose terror type they do not have good representation for in their move pool. If Pokemon use that move while Terrasalize, move type will change to the terror type of the Pokemon. One day, Olivia, you and me are going to have the greatest battle of all! I know it! I'm going to go train up, even more than I already have been. Level 100, here I come! She shows you such support and friendship. Or oh, perhaps... Perhaps she hopes you truly might rival her? Or maybe both. No, I think it's me hope. She seems to have a complete faith you will catch up to her. And anyway, it's allow me to return you the gym where I found you. I mean, it's just... Right, you could have left me here. I know where I am. Alright. Does anything happen as soon as I leave here? Hopefully not. And I can just move on on my own pace and we can end the episode here. Perfect. Alright, everybody. I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. Especially in the next episode, we will go up to the north. And we will go take on something. We will go northeast and take on the fighting type one. The fighting type team star base. We'll figure it out. I'll, just, I'll decide on the fly. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you all later.